welcome to freshersworld.com YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about volume and surface area. Now, we know the two main things in volume and surface area, cube and cuboid. Now, uh, let's first see the basic formulas what we use in cube and cuboid. For a cube, the volume of the cube is given by a cube. For any cube with an edge a, the volume is a cube. The surface area is given by 6a square and the diagonal is given by root 3a. Now, coming to the cuboid, the volume is given by length into breadth into height. The surface area is given by 2 into LB plus BH plus LH and the diagonal is given by root of L square plus B square plus H square. Let's solve a few questions on the volume and surface area for cubes and cuboids. The first question says, two cubes have their volumes in the ratio 1 is to 27. Find the ratio of their surface area. Now, what is the volume of the cube? The volume of the cube is A cube. Let's say I have two cubes with edges A and B. So, the ratio of their volume a cube to is to b cube is equal to 1 by 27. Now, this can be written as a by b the whole cube is equal to 1 by 3 the whole cube. Yes? Now, since the bases, since the powers are same, we can equate the bases. That means the ratio a by b is equal to 1 by 3. Now, they have asked us to find the ratio of the surface area. Surface area of a cube is 6a square. So, for the two cubes, the ratio would be 6a square by 6b square. Now, that means it is a by b the whole square. We have already found out the ratio a by b. So, this would be 1 by 3 the whole square. That is equal to 1 by 9. So, the ratio is 1 is to 9. Let's try another question of a similar type. The second question says, if each edge of a cube is measured is increased by 50%, find the percentage increase in its surface area now let's say let the edge of the cube let the edge of the cube be a okay then what is the surface area of the cube the surface area of the cube is given by 6a square in the second part of the question he says that the edge is increased by 50 percent that means the new edge would be the previous edge plus 50 percent of it it is increased by 50 percent so that is a plus 50 by 100 a that is equal to a plus 5 1s are 5 2s are 1 by 2 a that is 3 by 2 a this is the new edge now we need to find the percentage increase in its surface area so let's find the new surface area uh, the new surface area will be given by 6 a square that is 6 into 3 by 2 a 3 by 2 a the whole square so that would be 6 into 9 a square by 4 that is equal to 2 2 are 2 3s are 27 by 2 a square. Now we need to find the difference in the surface area. The difference in the surface area will be given by 27 by 2 a square minus 6 a square. That is equal to 15 by 2 a square. Now since they have asked us to find the percentage increase, what we need to do is we need to uh, divide the difference by the original surface area into 100. Now the difference was 15 by 2 a square divided by the original surface area that is 1 by 6 a square into 100. This has this is equal to 125 percent. For more such videos, please subscribe to our Freshers World YouTube channel. And if you are looking for a job, please register with FreshersWorld.com. Thank you. <music>